Hey guys, Rico Rock Styles one here, We're back again making another video. As you can tell from the title, I just got something in the mail. Or, yeah, I already took it apart. Well, opened up the box earlier than expected and took the bubble wrap out. I apologize for that because I was a little too anxious to cut it, unbox it live and take it out of the box. But let's just, in case anyone's wondering what the box looks like, it looks something like this. You have your Japanese stuff right here. Game controller, Japan, gift, yada, yada, yada. It's in Japanese. Some more Japanese. And that's it, really. You might be wondering why I got myself. I got myself this. You might be wondering, what is this? This, my friends, is a Super Famicom Junior controller. This was actually a Super Famicom controller designed for the Super Famicom Junior, which is basically the Japanese version of the SNES Mini, which is known as known as here in America. Now, the console would look something sort of like this, but it would have a it was a Super Famicom Junior right here, and uh, the buttons would be grayish and the cartridge slot will be shaped like a Super Famicom cartridge and the power in the AV will be a bit different well AV is going to be same but the power adapter is going to be a little different in fact uh, it will have a just a regular slot right there it wouldn't have this weird uh, AC adapter slot. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and test this controller out. So, anyway, let me compare it to a, well, before I turn off the video, I'm going to compare it to a American Super Nintendo Mini Controller. Here's the American one, or the American version compared to the... Now, these are supposed to be the same color. This one is due to yellowish because of the age. Maybe someone accidentally left this out in the sun or something. So that's probably the reason, because the front is more yellowish than uh, the back. Overall, it kind of still looks pretty cool. I mean, the differences between these two is um, just the color buttons. The American version has lavender and purple. The Y and X are concave and the B and A are convexed. Well, on this version, the colors are Y is green, X is blue, B is yellow, and A is red. And they're all convex on this controller. I kind of like the colors on this version, but for touch-wise, I prefer this. But overall, I, I like this color. I like the colors of this more. It looks cooler. Most people say they hate this because the Y and X aren't con cave just like the American lavender and purple so that's probably the excuse why I, that's the reason so I'm gonna go ahead and, and the reason I got the Super Famicom Junior controller instead of the original Super Famicom controller is because this cord length is actually a bit longer than a Super Famicom controller so let's undo the twisty tie and plug it in plug it in the console anyway I'm gonna follow the chords or right, hang on a moment try that again I shouldn't drop controllers like that but ah they're about the same length so it's the same length as the American Super Nintendo Mini Controller, but a little shorter than the average American Super Nintendo Controller. With a Super Famicom Controller, the cord is so dang short. Now, I'm going to go ahead and test this out with a game, so that's my video. Thanks for watching.